In a presentation to investors, analysts and the media, BSP Deputy CEO and Chief Financial Officer Johnson Carlo gave an overview of the bank's performance. Despite revenue decreasing slightly due to the current foreign exchange trading band margins imposed by the central bank, BSP was able to mitigate this by a reduction in the group's operating expenses. The, in terms of our costs, uh, we continue to maintain a, a vigilance over, uh, over our cost levels. Uh, it's partly a response to the, to the variability in the revenue that we've had to, uh, had to deal with over the last two quarters. Um, but it's also business as usual, as you well know, you know all businesses continually look at costs to, to find efficiencies um, and improve uh, performance that way. The results from the third quarter bring the total profit after tax for 2014 to 384.5 million kina, an increase of 24.2% from the corresponding period in 2013. BSP is also looking to further strengthen its presence in the financial sector with a new subsidiary, BSP Finance, which will commence operations in Fiji on the 10th of November. BSP Finance opens its doors in Fiji on Monday. We've got the final approvals and, um, and the business will open there. We're still progressing with BSP Finance in PNG and hoping that by the end of this month or early next month, we'll be able to open doors with BSP Finance to add additional revenue streams via these wholly owned subsidiaries. Given the positive performance so far, BSP remains confident the bank will continue to adapt to challenging market conditions and continue to deliver a sound underlying performance. Mary Batulo, National MTV News.